Hey, how's it going everybody? So I promised you a Mass Effect trilogy review and well, I'm not going to give you a trilogy review per se. I just want to talk about mainly about the ending of the Mass Effect trilogy or Mass at the end of Mass Effect 3. So if you have not played Mass Effect, um, I suggest uh, you do not watch this video because there are all spoilers involved. But in either case, if you have played it, you probably and you've beaten the game, you probably know where I'm coming from. And even if you don't play the Mass Effect trilogy, you probably have heard stuff on the internet about all the controversy surrounding the ending of Mass Effect 3. So I'm just here today to give you my opinions on the matter. So just a quick recap: uh, the Mass Effect trilogy is pretty much based on all the choice, based on choices and story-driven. Um, well, story, I guess, and all your actions drive the story in a certain direction in that you never have the same story twice if you've played it more than once. And what we have here is that everybody was led to believe, and I think it was even you know said from the people that made the game, Bioware, saying that your actions do determine on how the game ends. And essentially somebody out there said um, there was like 16 different endings. Um, no, <laughs> what we have is pretty much three endings, and every single end, each three of them can be just a little bit different. So I think there's like ten different endings in all, but pretty much 95% of the time, all three endings are essentially the same. And my the way I feel with the ending is, I hate it, but I like it. There are things I liked about it, and the things I hated about it. So I'm going to tell you what I hate about it, and then what I like about it. First off, why I hate the ending of Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect, the entire Mass Effect trilogy was based on decision making and your choices. At the end of Mass Effect 3, you're pretty much left with only three choices. Your decisions had nothing to do with the end result. When you got to the end, it was either you could either destroy the Reapers, you could control the Reapers, or you could uh, create synthesis. Either way, in all three scenarios, Shepard does die. Well, okay, if you destroy the Reapers, technically he might still be alive because at the end he does have a, he does have that, 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 that breathing thing. So, he could be alive. And, and I'll talk about that in just a little bit more on that. But essentially, he does die in the mass, of, uh, the, the, re the mass relays, they all get destroyed because, um, just a quick, you know, info, uh, to get the Crucible and the Citadel together, that, that was believed to have, uh, to create like a super weapon that could destroy all the Reapers. Um, not exactly. The Catalyst tells Shepard that his choices have made, got him this far in that the power of choice is very important and that the solution to, to bring order to chaos can no longer work because the Reapers were intended to destroy the most advanced organic life forms at the end of every cycle because essentially uh, the created will always destroy the creators. Ev like the major races always start building um, a synthetics, and the synthetics will always rebel and s essentially destroying all organic life. What the Reapers do, they destroy only the the most powerful organic life to allow the younger ones in order to survive, in order to keep organic life going. But now, since Shepard has gotten this far with his choices and the power of his choices, the solution can no longer work. So Shepard has to make one of three choices. But the, with a game that's been all about decisions, you really don't have much decision at the end of the Mass Effect 3. It's either suicide, suicide, or suicide. And that is why I, I hate the ending, because it just, you know, you're choosing pretty much death, and the mass, the mass release are destroyed, but, you know, I, I feel bad about the ending. I just did not want that. Now, take, now let's take what I like from the ending of Mass Effect 3. What we have here is, in the end of Mass Effect 3, you have three choices. and you're, Either way, you're pretty much going to die. But it's the power of choice that is so important. Even the Catalyst says that our choices are, are very, is, is a powerful thing. And what we have here is that Shepard sacrifices himself and the mass relays to ensure the galaxy survives and, and the reaper threat is gone. Essentially, at the end of every cycle from, from prior, I mean, for all the civilizations that came before, the older decisions didn't really matter because either way, the reapers were going to come and wipe them out anyway. With Shepard sacrificing himself, 
he ensures that all the life in the galaxy does have that freedom of choice and to go and move on and to take the chance to live life the way they want it. There's a chance that yes, the synthetics will rise and probably kill all of them, but we there is that there is that chance that we that can be prevented and that we are we are in control of our own destinies. So Shepard actually protects the the right the right to choose. And that's and that's exactly what this Mass Effect trilogy has been about. The right to choose. At the end, like Shepard really doesn't have a choice, but he ensures that everybody else in the galaxy does have a choice and that their decisions do matter and it will not end uh, the way it has before with the Reapers coming. What we have here is that Shepard goes essentially to his death. The destination is always the same for all of us, just as in virtual life and real life, we do, exp we do get to death. There's no escaping it. And you know, it, the old saying goes, it's not the destination, but the journey. The destination is always the same. We're all going to die. All our decisions, all our choices, it doesn't matter. We will die uh, at the end of our lives. Same thing happened to Shepard. He did die. But his choices and his decisions affected the galaxy in many ways. And, it, and it's because of his decisions that ended the cycle of the Reapers, and which has led for a whole new future that is completely unknown, but the, the right of choice or remains with everybody else that that survived the um, the Reaper invasion, and that part I do like because it symbolizes, you know, it, Bioware was trying to make a point. Our choices are important, in that it's not the destination because we all die, we're all gonna die, but the journey is what matters, and what we do in life does does carry on, and that way I. It's in that concept, in that train of thought, I think the ending was perfect the way it was. I didn't like it, I didn't want it, but it was something that I think we all needed to experience. And the first few days after I beat Mass Effect 3, I'll admit, I was furious, I was mad, I was sad, I felt you know, like, why? And then I kind of thought about when a friend dies here in real life, you get angry, you get sad, you, you ask God why? And then, and then I thought about well, it's kind of the same thing here, you know, a person like Shepard. You put so much time and energy into this character to make it your own, and he dies. So I felt myself kind of going through that process of dealing with the, you know, Shepard is gone now, and now this, the story ends, and you know, but you got to move on. And essentially, that same thing happened. You know, that's what happened in Mass Effect 3. I was mad that it ended the way it did, but that's life. Every, everybody dies. I'm sorry if I'm sounding a bit preachy here, but you gotta understand that uh, when it comes to Mass Effect, they were trying to teach us about the, the importance of choices, uh, about every single choice we make, and how, and how value, valuable each decision is, regardless of how small or how big the decision is. And Shepard's sacrifice guarantees that we will always have that choice and that our decisions will, will always matter. It is not the destination, it is the journey. And for that, I love the ending the way it, the way it happened. But for me, this is... So I got what we, I needed out of the story. I didn't get what I wanted, but I got what I needed. And, th and for that, I thank Bioware for doing that. And at the end of the credits, you do see this little kid and this like uh, grandpa or dad or whatever, and they're talking about talking about Shepard and his story and about his legacy and they get to the end and the kid asks for one more story and the dad says and goes well it's getting late but yeah okay one more story which tells me that depending on which ending you chose if you destroyed the Reapers essentially Shepard, Shepard may have survived which leads me to think we haven't seen the ending of Shepard yet I'm thinking what Bioware is going to do is that the ending of the game will not be changed, even though people are demanding it be changed. I think what we're going to see is something afterwards, or uh, something like that, because I, I feel like people really didn't get a good sense of closure, and I think in a few months, uh, Bioware is going uh, to release a DLC uh, talk, uh, about a story about Shepard after the events of the um, Citadel pretty much being blown up, or depending on whatever story 
end of story you decide to go with. But uh, that's just me theorizing. I could be wrong, but it is a possible a scenario that Bioware might go with. But for me personally, this is what I wanted to see at the end of Mass Effect 3. I wanted to see that after you beat the elusive man and then the Citadel opens up, I thought the Crucible would, you know, dock with the Citadel and then all the Weepers would pretty much be destroyed. And then the galaxy would be safe, you'd be a hero, Shepard would, you know, go, go out and, like, as a legend and still be alive, the mass relays would still be fine, and I would imagine, like, he'd be given, like, probably one more choice, and the choice would be one of three, actually. Like, I would imagine that the council would, you know, ask him, ask for his presence about something, he would come to them and they would say, Shepard, we have to offer you a, a, um, a proposal. You can choose one of three things. One, you could be the, the new uh, human council member on the council. Two, you could be an admiral of the Alliance fleet. Or three, you can just refuse either promotion and just continue being a specter and being Commander Shepard on the Normandy. And so whichever choice you make, um, the, at the end of the game, like all the major characters that survived would be back either like either on the Normandy or on the Citadel, depending on if you chose to take a promotion or not. And then you'd all be toasting to you know victory. You'd be like, you know, job well done. And for me, um, I chose the relationship with uh, Liara Lear Tosoni. And then at the end of that, you know, you know, toasting and everything, she would kind of pull Shepard like away for a second and to tell her that or tell him that. Um, that I, I am pregnant with your child, and then end the game. That, that would be the perfect ending that I was wanting, because that way it, it gives a good sense of closure in that, you know, things, everything turned out great, and you would have the possibility of having a new Mass Effect trilogy with probably Shepard's um, descendants, or like his child, or you know, their children, or whatever. And so that way you could have a whole new list of characters, a whole new story, but it would still pay homage to the original Mass Effect trilogy. I think that would have been the ultimate ending, for me anyway. I would have gotten what I wanted and needed if that had happened. And just a final sound off, I'm going to miss, the character I'm going to miss the most from Mass Effect is Garrus, because let's be honest, Garrus is just a total badass. He's always with you no matter what, and he's just a, such a cool dude. He's a soldier like you, and guys are just best buds, and I just loved how Garrus was portrayed throughout the entire series, especially in the second game, and here in the third game, you know, he's just, he's just straight up loyal. He's awesome. Gonna miss Garrus a lot. As, as well with all the other characters, because every single character was so deep and well, just so involved in the story that yeah, it's sad to see all of them go. But they were all great characters, and I'm going to miss them all. So um, that's it from this video here. Like I said, we didn't get what we wanted from Mass Effect 3, but we got what we needed. And that, I'm, I'm happy with it. And Mass Effect Trilogy, one of the greatest trilogies of all time. And wait for it. Yes, I'm going to say Mass Effect 3, the greatest video game I have ever played, period. No matter what the, the end of the story is, I loved playing this game. And actually, I should tell you, I read like, in one of those um, like gamer guides of the Mass Effect game, if you play Mass Effect 3 twice, at the end of the second time, you get something else at the ending. So, I'm wondering what... Is, is, it a, is it a better ending? I don't know. So I'm almost, I, I almost, I don't want to play it again because I know the ending, but if there's another ending after I play it twice, like, will I be more satisfied? So I'm actually kind of curious, and I, I just might play Mass Effect 3 again just to see what that um, new ending is or what what is different at the end. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Um, what do you guys think? For those of you that played Mass Effect 3, did you love the ending? Did you hate it? Do you feel like I do? Do you want to go to Bioware and just beat the crap out of them? Which, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not approving that. I'm just saying, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. You know, some, some players are hurt pretty bad by this. Ultimately, guys, what did you think about the trilogy? What did you think about the rest of Mass Effect 3 besides the ending? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching this video. Bioware, thank you for such a great video game, for a great trilogy. The ending may be controversial, but even but I know the moral of the story about decisions and how important they are, and I do know 
like one of the most important lessons in life is that it is the journey, not the destination that matters. But the destination could have been just a little bit better. Okay, I'm wrong. It could have been a lot better. Just saying.